is up you guys so this is gonna be a tutorial on how to do this cool music video scribble effect kind of okay let's get started so I have after effects open right here and this is the clip that I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna make a scribble coming from my eye and then going down my face first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna command D to duplicate our clip and then we're gonna go to effects and presets and search up hue and you're gonna click on hue slash saturation. Now if we move the master hue, you could see a bunch of these different colors. So why don't we keep it on this like bluish color for now, but we can change it later. Okay, so let's just turn off that effect for now. Now we're gonna click on the rotor brush tool and we're gonna press my eye. So I'm gonna be kind of animating my eye to make it look like I have a blue eye and then like show a tear coming out. If we press on the eye, you can see that it kind of tracks the eye to form that circle around the eye. So let's go back to our composition and if we look at the hue and saturation you can see that the rotor brush tool was applied and if I move the colors you can kind of see the, the color of my eye has formed. Okay let's just turn that off for now. I just wanted to show you guys. Okay so now I'm gonna go a couple of frames into it and then I'm gonna start forming like a sort of tear on it. You can use the command tool and s slide your mouse kind of up and down to change the brush size of it. So I'm gonna form like a little tear. And then I'm gonna keep pressing the command right arrow tool and every single frame I'm gonna extend that tear a bit. And if you want to remove a part you selected already you can press the alt tool and then use the brush and it'll show a red marking instead of a green one and that'll tell you that you're removing the selection that you took. Okay, now let's go back to our composition and put hue and saturation back on. And I'm going to change the color to like a bluish color. Okay, let's watch it back now. So now you can see that it kind of like has this animated tear going down. Okay, let's turn that back off. And so I'm just going to clean it up a bit and do some more after, but you kind of get the whole gist of it. You press command and the right arrow tool to kind of extend and make shapes that you want to make. And the thing about this is you can't really create cool like text or anything. You kind of have to work with what the rotor brush is giving you, but I think it's a cool idea that you could use in some of your videos. So I made my eye form a tear, but now I'm going to remove it at the end. Okay, let's watch this back. So the eye forms and then it kind of fades away in the end. So I'm really liking that. Um, what you can also do is go to the rotor brush settings and you could change the feathering to whatever you like. You can bring the feathering up so that it doesn't have that like sharp edges. It'll kind of soften the edges a bit. And you can also adjust reduce chatter to do kind of the same thing. So the edges are softened and yeah, I'm really liking how this looks. So in the end, you can see that the rotor brush kind of fades away. So I'm going to have to command shift D delete. So yeah, that's the whole tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's something a little bit different. I haven't seen anyone make this kind of video tutorial on this idea, but I've seen it in like music videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.